Hi everybody, I'm Steve Eves, the CEO of Vault Server and the inventor of the technology. During the early days of lithium ion battery development, I was working on the B-2 bomber for the Air Force and doing the power electronics and battery management system for that project. We were trying to find a way to charge electric vehicles at high voltage without hurting anybody in the process when we exposed high voltage on exposed surfaces. What digital electricity does is it breaks electricity into a bunch of small pulses combined with a digital tracking code that goes from a transmitter to a receiver. Imagine a stream of water, but break that stream of water into billions of small droplets instead of one high pressure stream. By only putting a small amount of energy in each droplet, you can render the stream safe. Digital electricity uses a similar basis for making electricity safe. Hi, I'm Matt Giuliano. I'm the Senior Vice President of Sales and Customer Services here at Vault Server. Where is DE today? We see it as a premise-based distribution mechanism from a resilient power source to distributed loads. Digital electricity is going to combine the benefits of AC and DC transmission, and it's also going to combine that with the benefits of low voltage and power over Ethernet technologies. So what is digital electricity? The solution provides a significant amount of power, and when we characterize a significant amount of power, we're talking up to two kilowatts to a particular location. And again, we'll compare and contrast that to existing technologies for remote powering out there. So two kilowatts is gonna be considerably more than something like power over ethernet or low voltage DC a la class two, which are gonna be limited to sub 100 watts and or they're gonna be limited in their distance. When we talk about distance, our significant or the S portion of the distance, the significant distance is gonna go out up to a kilometer and a half. We're gonna talk about conductor size because obviously cost of copper for one thing, but the size and the weight and the ability to deploy over copper. And then speed to deployment. When there's a time constraint, nothing is gonna be quicker than digital electricity because again, that ability to do it without conventional AC or DC techniques, there's no conduit involved in this. It's merely the use of these skinny conductors rolled out extremely quickly. And as Steve had pointed out, the final S in our five S's is the element of safety. The ability to make high voltage DC transmission inherently touch proof and safe We've been deployed in approximately 750 of locations similar to that, whether they're sports stadiums, arenas, passenger terminals, or class A office buildings. If you're flying down to this year's Super Bowl, not only are we deployed in uh, the Tampa airport, but also for this year's Super Bowl at Raymond James Stadium, as well as the previous three Super Bowls. So as we start looking at the offices of the future or the base of the future, whether that's densification within your base for mobile technology, whether that's Wi-Fi or 5G, or whether it's for traditional more enterprise applications or what's being referred to as the smart building or the intelligent infrastructure, you can now utilize the benefits of digital electricity the technology that allow you to distribute power where, when, and how it's needed in an extremely cost-effective and safe fashion out to more enterprise and POE-based infrastructures. As we start looking at resiliency as being a key element of the use cases out there, if you're powering POE lights, wireless access points, security and access controls, these need to be up 24-7, 365. If you have a power outage, if there's a situation, you have to ensure backup. And that's where the ability to centralize that power source, utilize a proper backup mechanism that's properly maintained, and then distribute out for 24-7, 365 uptime to these applications in cases of emergency where rapid deployment is needed. We've utilized this for things like drones, tethered drones, where we're now able to utilize DE over these skinny cables to a tethered drone to provide RF coverage in emergency situations. 
So think of this in the future from a forward operation base or quick deployment, rapid deployment scenarios. Within minutes, you can literally deploy a full electrical infrastructure that does not present any danger to the humans.